this class we discuss about traction system and characteristics of a good traction system the traction system is basically classified into two one is electric system another is a non electric system in electric system one is self contained electric vehicle number two electric vehicle fed from a distribution system number three tram ways number four trolley ways number 5 electric trains in a non electric system one is direct steam engine number 2 direct internal combustion engine system number 3 diesel electric drive the characteristics of a good traction system are number 1 it should have a high starting torque number 2 it should have a high rapid acceleration number 3 it should be compact enough Number four, it should be able to run on any route. Number five, it should cause minimum wear and tear on the track. Number six, it should cause minimum wear and tear in the brake shoes. Generally, regenerative braking is used. Number seven, it should have an easy speed control. Number eight, capable of taking heavy loads temporarily. Number nine, it should be economical. Number ten. Running and maintenance cost should be low or minimum. Number eleven, it should be pollution free. These are all the characteristics of a good traction system. Electric traction system. It is a popular traction system. In India, we are using single phase twenty five kV fifty hertz. Power is supplied to the locomotive, which carries transformers and rectifiers. AC is converted into DC in the locomotive and traction motors are DC motors recently AC traction motors are being employed the power is drawn from an overhead line running along that is above the track advantages of electric traction systems are number 1 it is a clean traction system number 2 well suited for underground railways number 3 it is pollution free number 4 no need of generators to operate light and fan in the traction system because we can tap power from the overhead line number 5 very good speed control number 6 it has advantages of rapid acceleration and retardation number 7 requires less maintenance number 8 it can be started instantly number 9 it take large overloads Number ten, electrical braking is superior than mechanical braking. Disadvantages of electric traction system are number one, high initial cost. Number two, failure of supply paralyzes the whole system. Number three, AC traction system produces interference with the neighboring telecommunication lines. Number four. it will only run on electrified routes electric traction is highly suitable for suburban and urban railways where frequent starting and stopping are uh, and high schedule speeds are required it is capable of handling a greater volume of traffic the system can be divided and run in sections during the periods of light traffic frequent trains can be maintained leading to increased traffic during the peak periods a uh, system of traction number 1 direct steam engine system steam engine drive is the most widely used traction system in almost all the underdeveloped countries advantages are simplicity in design it does not interfere with the telecommunication line Number three, low capital cost because track electrification is not required. Number four, speed control is simple. Disadvantages are number one, poor thermal efficiency. Number two, noisy in operation. Number three, due to unbalanced reciprocating part, there is considerable wear and tear on the track. Number four, corrosion of steel structure due to smoke emitted by the engine. Number five, it pollutes the atmosphere. 
Number six, its efficiency is low. Number seven, it takes more time for starting. Number eight, not suitable for underground system. Number nine, maintenance cost is very high. Number ten, speed of locomotive is very low. These are all the major disadvantages of direct steam engine system. Number two, direct internal combustion system. It is suitable for road and light railway work. It is unsatisfactory for heavy railway work. Advantages are number one, low initial cost. Number two, very compact and self-contained unit. Number three, simple speed control mechanism. Number four, its efficiency is 25 percentage. Its braking arrangements are simple. Disadvantages are the life of the vehicle is short. Overload capacity is low. Maintenance running costs are high. Number four, it produces air pollution. Number five, it requires gear system for speed control. These are all the major disadvantages of direct internal combustion system. The third is diesel electric drive. This system is used in Indian railways. In this system, gear mechanism is eliminated. The direct engine is coupled to a DC generator, which supplies DC traction motors. The advantages are. For conversion from steam engine to diesel traction, no modification of existing track is required. Number two, no overhead transmission is required, hence capital cost is low. Number three, it is efficiency is about 25 percent is more than the steam locomotive. Number four, the haulage capacity is higher as compared with the steam locomotive. Number five, simple starting method. Number six, speed control is quite simple. Number seven, braking arrangements are very simple. Disadvantages are it has a shorter life of lifespan. Number two, overload capacity is very much limited. Number three, maintenance costs are fairly high. Number four, cooling arrangements are needed for diesel engine as well as motor generator set. These are all the disadvantages and advantages of diesel electric drive. The fourth is battery electric system. In this system, vehicle carries battery, which run DC motors used for driving the vehicle. This system is not suitable for railways. They are mainly used in mines, ports, and large factories. The batteries are connected in parallel for starting and running half of the maximum speed. The batteries are connected in series for running maximum speed. Advantages are. Number one, low maintenance cost. Number two, very convenient to use. Number three, pollution free. Disadvantages are the major disadvantages is limited capacities of the batteries and the problem of charging them frequently. Number two, periodic maintenance is required. These are all the advantages and disadvantages of battery electric system.